So yesterday you learned about unit rates. So today we're going to be making com comparisons between unit rates. So uh, this one involves the pricing. And let me get my board up. It says the unit rate can help determine the better value of our money. So this would be unit rate. So it says number one, a 12 pack of Orange Crush is priced at $3. A six pack is priced at $1.75. What's the better value? So it means that you can buy for $3, you get 12. Or for $1.75, you get six. So one thing you can do is uh, figure out which one's the better value by figuring out how much one cost. So you're gonna do the, you're gonna divide both of these. So you're gonna divide twelve into three dollars. So when you divide twelve into three dollars, you get twenty five cents. So that means one can out of the twelve pack is twenty five cents. And so then you're gonna do the same thing for the six pack. So you're gonna divide um, six into a dollar seventy five. And when you do that, you get a 29 cents. So now this helps you figure out which one's the better buy. So it's actually better to buy the 12 pack of Orange Crush because it comes out to be cheaper per, per can. Um, and it's used quite a bit when you're shopping for groceries. So the next one is Folgers Coffee's price at 12.88 for 80 cups of coffee, okay? Then it says that Seattle's best is priced at $9 for 50 cups of coffee. So you're trying to figure out which one's a better buy. So the rate for the Folgers is $12.88 for every 80 cups. Seattle's best is $9 for every 50 cups of coffee. So we're going to divide 80 and a $12.88 to figure out how much one cup of coffee costs for Folgers. When you do that, you get 0.1, uh, you get 16 cents. So Folgers is 16 cents per cup. And now we're gonna do Seattle's best. And you're gonna divide $9 by 50 cups of coffee. Comes out to 18 cents. So now you just figure out which one's the smaller price, which is the 16 cents. So that means Folgers Cup is better. Okay, so now it says by finding a unit rate, we can compare the speed of objects. So number three says Hunter jogs four miles in 30 minutes. Ryan jogs seven miles in 48 minutes. We gotta figure out who's faster. So I'm gonna put an H up here for Hunter. So Hunter does, four miles in 30 minutes. And then Ryan does seven miles in 48 minutes. And what I wanna figure out is how far they go in one minute to figure out basically how fast they're going. So we're gonna divide. So we're gonna divide 30 into four. Well, you have to add your decimal and a zero down here. And when you divide that out, you get 13, uh, 0.13. So it'd be 0.13 miles per minute. So we're gonna do the same thing for Ryan. So you have to add your decimal and a zero in the house. And when you divide that out, you get 0.15. So Hunter goes 0.13 miles per minute and Ryan goes 0.15 miles per minute. So that means Hunter, um, excuse me, I'm, misthought this. So that means Ryan is actually going faster because he's doing more miles for every one minute because 0.15 is greater than 0.13. Sorry, I was stuck on this since from the previous problems. Okay, so number four. So number four says the Olympic record for men's 100 meter freestyle is 47 seconds. The Olympic record for the women's 15 meter freestyle is 24 seconds. Which one is the better rate of speed? So min is 100 meters for every 47 seconds. Women 
is 50 meters for every um, 24 seconds. So what we want to figure out is how far they can go for every um, one second. So we're going to divide 47 seconds into 100 meters. And when you do that, you get um, 2.12 uh, We'll just say 2.2 or 2.1. Yeah, since it's uh, this will be 2.1. So that means that they do 2.1 meters for every one second. And so then we're going to do the same thing to the women. So we're going to divide 24 seconds into 50 meters. And you get 2.0. So that means the woman is faster. Or excuse me, sorry, I keep thinking um, about the sense. Since they do 2.1 meters for every one second, that means they go faster because women are only going to do 2.0 meters per one second. So that means the men are covering a greater length in, a um, in the same amount of time. All right, number five. A Anna can type 123 words in three minutes. Carolina does 220 words in five minutes. Who can type the fastest? So Anna does 123 words for every three minutes. Um, Carolina does 220 words in five minutes. So what you're going to do is you're going to figure out how much the words they can do in one minute. So we're going to divide three into 123 which should come out to 41. So that means they can do 41 words per one minute. Carolina is going to divide five into 220, and it comes out to 44. So Carolina is faster because she can type 44 words for every one minute versus Anna, who does 41 words per minute. Okay. So, um, number six, it says, a contractor has 12 gallons of paint, which will cover 2,712 square feet. Which of the following rates best represents the relationship between the number of square feet and the number of gallons? Um, so, what you want to do is find the unit rate. So, you're going to divide 12 into 2,712. And when you divide that, you get 226. So that means that she can, they can do 226 feet per one gallon of paint. All right, number seven. Northside High School is having a spaghetti dinner fundraiser. In order to advertise, students place flyers in neighborhood doors. March hands out 125, 120 flower, flyers in two hours. Jackson hands out 18 flyers in 15 minutes. Which one equation can be used to determine F if the number of flyers Jackson handed out in two hours. Um, I actually don't like any of these answer choices because they're not comparing the same thing. So uh, I actually would not use any of these answer choices, basically because Margie is 120 flower flyers in two hours, and Jackson is 18 flyers in 15 minutes. So since this the time are in two different things, you can't compare them. So you would have to change this to minutes. So that'd be 120 flyers for every uh, um, 120 minutes. And the reason why I knew this 120 is because there's 60 minutes in one hour. So she's doing it for two hours. So basically that means she's handing out a flyer per minute. And Jackson is a little bit slower, uh, is a little bit faster than that because he's handing out 18 flyers in 15 minutes. So it's a little bit greater than a whole. And that's the reason why I don't like those answer choices because they didn't convert them 